welcome back guys today in this short tutorial i will show you guys how to create this cool text effect in adobe illustrator this very simple effect to create and let's get started we need to work with the appearance window for this tutorial so if you don't see your appearance window in your screen just go to windows and activate the appearance from the windows i already have my appearance window active so i'm just going to type a text in here happy new year and for this design i'm going to choose a cursive font uh, you can choose any type of font but cursive design will look nicer for the final design and i'm going to choose to clean from the library uh, if you don't have this font you can activate from uh, adobe creative cloud uh, fonts all right so you can also choose similar fonts uh, for this design select the font and go to appearance window and add a new field for this design as you can see when you add a new field there is also a stroke you just ignore the stroke just go to the fill and select the fill color you can select a fill color from the swatches from here or you can just go to the toolbar and select the color from a color picker i'm going to choose white color for this design okay again select the text make sure to select the text and go back to the appearance and apply a new fill color again apply a different color for this second fill color you can just select the color picker from here and select the color i'm going to select this blue color okay now you can see it's almost covering the fill color we have created earlier so you can just bring down same as layers so it will go behind the earlier fill color so you won't see the blue color for now all right it's okay just select this one and go to the fx and select the distort and transform and select transform effect from here make sure to on the preview in here and what we are going to do is we are going to move the fill color we have created so i'm going to move 10 pixel towards horizontal and 10 pixel towards vertical now you can see our second fill has been moved according to our values and below you will see the copies so let's say if i had 25 copies in here everything will move accordingly so using this feature we are going to make that 3d look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep 25 copies and i'm going to bring down the horizontal and vertical values so I'm just going to say one pixel and one pixel. So each copy will move one pixel by one pixel, which will look like a 3D effect. All right, so our effect look cool. So we just say, okay. All right. Now I'm going to create the second depth you saw on the thumbnail. For this one, I'm just going to duplicate this blue color effect. Just select this one and say duplicate, which will copy exactly the same effect below and for this i'm going to apply a darker tone and i will open the fill and select the transform effect which will open up the transform effect again instead of 25 i'm going to select the effect to 35 or maybe 40 yeah i think 40 looks better okay just select okay all right guys i think our effect is done very fast and very simple you can also do the same thing with the stroke as well so i'm just going to apply a stroke in here i'll select this and i will apply a stroke color probably from the darker tone and maybe i will choose the stroke weight to 0 0.25 and uh, i think this darker tone is fine and also i'm going to apply a dotted dashed line for this one and select in here and dash line and 2 by 2 2 point by 2 is okay now you can see we have a slight stroke is uh, appearing in the text as well all right cool so i also apply a stroke for the background okay so now we have created the effect in the text so let's say you want to save this effect and reuse them in future it's really easy uh, so I'm just going to draw a star in here. Let's say you want to apply the same effect to this star or in your future text. It's really easy. Go to Windows and select the 
graphic styles which will open the graphic styles in here once you open the graphic styles you can see in your appearance window there is an icon based on your design is appearing on top just select click on this icon and drag and drop this to the graphic styles which will create a new style so you can double click and rename this style and then once you save your effect you can apply this to any shape inside illustrator i'm going to apply to this star in here and you can see our effect is appearing in the star you can apply this effect to any type of vector elements inside illustrator and also once you apply if you want to change anything if it didn't fit to your new design you can simply select this and go to appearance and change effect settings from here all right yeah so that's about it guys so thank you for watching today's tutorial hopefully you guys learned something new from today's tutorial and uh, see you guys in the next uh, tutorial